Now, it might feel like the world has stopped turning entirely, but people in power are still making decisions that will impact uh, all of what we do here. Finally, uh, it's finally safe to hang out with each other again eventually. And uh, right now, I will say a big one was made today during a remote meeting of the Oregon Transportation Commission. That super controversial I-5 expansion at the Rose Quarter was unanimously approved today to move forward without another lengthy environmental review. Now, if you're not familiar, it's a $715 million plan. I think off the top of the show, we ran that little open and I said billion. That would be a really nice freeway. This one's only a $750 million plan, not billion. But the plan is to add merging lanes on both sides of I-5 between 405 and 84, basically right next to the Moda Center. It's one of the worst bottlenecks in America. And ODOT says that the plan will reduce crashes, but groups like like no more freeways say the state should encourage alternative forms of transportation instead of adopting the plan that could encourage more people to get in cars and drive around. Now, other environmental groups urge the state to hit pause and do a longer environmental study on the impacts. But the commission said, well, they said no. They don't want to wait for that. Aside from the environmental impact, another key point of tension is the freeway's impact on the Albina neighborhood, which was basically cut in half when I-5 was built there in the 60s. The commission hopes that the expansion will also heal some of those wounds. The project will also seek to connect the community that was displaced from their homes and their cultural center by the construction of I-5. The Albina neighborhood, which was the heart of Oregon's African-American community, at your direction, the project will be intentional on how these values committed will result in restorative justice outcomes. They expect to be finished with the construction in about seven years. This Rose Quarter expansion has been a long time coming, but how did we get here? Really, we have to start in 1962 when I-5 carved its way up through Oregon and through the lower Albina neighborhood. That, on top of the building of the Memorial Coliseum, Emanuel Hospital, and the Albina Community Plan in 1993, hundreds of African-American families were effectively kicked out of their homes. Fast forward decades to 2017, when the Oregon legislature passed a $5.3 billion bill to pay for transportation projects. It raised taxes on things like gas and income and car sales to pay for projects that reduced congestion throughout the state. Governor Brown called it one of her biggest priorities, and the I-5 expansion was one of the crown jewels. Over the years, it's been a hot topic every time it comes up in community meetings, with dozens of environmental, transportation, and social justice advocates coming out to speak their mind. In January, several Portland politicians indicated they would oppose the plan unless there was a more extensive environmental review and justice for the Albina neighborhood. But on March 27th, they appeared to back off from their environmental demands, which leads us to today, when the Oregon Transportation Committee said the project can move forward without a lengthy environmental review. And that's how we got here.